Hey, what's happening YouTube? This is Dottie with Ignite Cinemas, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your audio sound crisp and amazing in Final Cut Pro 10 without any plugins. Let's get it! So recently I've been getting a lot of comments on what kind of tutorials you guys want using Final Cut Pro 10, and one of the main ones is how to get amazing sound and what are my presets when I'm editing and how do I get crispy audio so I want to show you a tutorial on how to do this no you don't need any plugins and with the examples I show they're gonna be from different mics that I use whether it's my Tascam lavalier mic or even my Rode video micro vlogging mic I'm gonna show you guys how to use the same formula that I use what I usually do is I come over to window under show and workspace. I always click the audio meters and when you, you're going to have the audio okay. meter right here and a good rule of thumb when you have audio is you want to keep it at negative 12 or negative six, um, especially when it's recorded. Anything higher, you risk the chance of it, quote unquote, clipping and it gets in the red area and that's how you hear those pop noises and it gets distorted so that's a rule of thumb this one right here we're actually below the negative 12 so what I'm gonna do first come over here and I raise the audio a little bit okay so that's decent the next thing I always do is I put a noise removal on it and this just polishes it up usually I keep it between 30 and 40 if it's really bad and you hear like a, a fan in the background I might boost it up I'm Brian Blyer, we're here. like this one right here there was a big gigantic fan so I might boost it up to maybe 45 ish uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to a limiter and I apply this to pretty much equal everything out and it's right here we're gonna go over to your effects go under audio go under levels and grab your limiter we're then going to apply it on top once we have the limiter we're going to click this button right here which looks like looks like a soundboard and we're going to have this right here the first thing i like to do is i like to adjust the gain and i always keep this at a 3.5 i adjust that and i come over here to the release and i usually boost this up to 250. output I usually do at a negative 4.5 and the look ahead I keep it the same at 2. This just evens everything out and keeps everything crispy. Now in this case I will probably boost the loudness on here. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brian McGuire. We're here at Illusion Raps, and we're teaming up with 3M to rap my Subaru Impreza. And that's crispy, and I love the way that sounds. Hi, I'm Brian McGuire. We're here at Illusion Raps, and we're teaming up with 3M to rap my Subaru Impreza. Hi, I'm Brian McGuire. We're here at Illusion Raps, and we're teaming up with 3M to rap my Subaru Impreza. I was vlogging a few months ago before the pandemic hit with some awesome kids for the YMCA. Now, I'm going to apply those same strategies to this footage and adjust accordingly. So what I do is I'll copy it, come over here, and then instead of paste effects though, we're gonna paste attributes. And under the attributes, we're gonna have the limiter saved, the volume saved, the loudness, and the background noise. And we're gonna roll with it. Now as you can see, see what we have. Whoa, we don't want that. It popped off way too crazy. Knock the loudness down and we're going to tone this way, way down. Uh, you see what we at right now. We're going to tone it down a little bit more. But I actually like the way this... And this is at Tennis Academy with my boy Samir right I actually like the way that sounds. We're staying at the negative six. We're staying well below zero, which is awesome because we don't want those pops and to get distorted at all. Because audio is a real important part of a video. It can make or break it. If you got bad audio at least have some captions in there you know so people can read all uh, right you see where we at right now you know what we repping this is at tennis academy with my boy samir right now and the squad yo what's up this is the drip king man he taught me everything about drip all uh, right you see where we at right now you know what we repping this is at tennis academy with my boy samir right now and the squad yo what's up this is the drip king man he taught me everything about drip
I'm going to copy <laughs> what we just did. I am going to paste the attributes yeah. and go from there. I'm Devlin Riley, and I'm the marketing director. Of and that sounds good. The main thing is this limiter preset. Keep these as your preset and adjust accordingly when you use different audio sources or different mics. I've done a lot of split testing, and this has been the formula that handles everything easily and makes the audio crispy and clean and icy. Hey everyone, I'm Devlin Riley and I'm the marketing director and for the YMCA. Hey everyone, I'm Devlin Riley and I'm the marketing director and for the YMCA. To make it really easier, instead you don't even have to copy and pasting and even if you delete the files when you're done, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna come over here to save effects preset and you can actually save, just name it. So I'm gonna put ignite audio preset and you can put it in any category and I hit save and now we'll come over here under audio place it on top and we are good to go in this case I'm gonna definitely boost this up that's one thing with the task cam mic um, the wireless mic I it, it records at two phases negative six or negative 12 and I always use a negative 12 one because I'd rather boost it up than boost it down that's just me on March 17 and we can adjust the nitpicky stuff yes we are like most of you know we are feeding all elderly daily meals yes we are like most of you know we are feeding all elderly daily meals this is the secret hack I've been using for the past almost five years in all my audio in my videos and uh, hopefully this tutorial was easy to go feel free to split test certain things and make adjustments this is an example blueprint so you can achieve crispy audio and amazing audio using Final Cut Pro 10 to clean up those vocals fast and easy if you guys enjoyed this tutorial please smash that like button for me right now. And if you wanna see more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials like this on the channel, as well as gear reviews and filming tips and tricks, don't forget to hit that red button, subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video. And as always, don't forget to ignite. See ya.